Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Open Media Vault on your Orange Pi. First of all, navigate to the Armbian website. Once you reached their website, download the corresponding image for your device. In my case, I have an Orange Pi PC. Here we are going to download the image which only has the command line interface because we don't need a desktop interface for Open Media Vault. Right click, direct download and copy the link address. Paste it in the address bar and strip the end. Now here we have a good oversight of all the available versions. In our case, we're going to choose for, for Debian Stretch next, because this one has a newer kernel. If you choose the default one, it will have the older kernel. After the download is complete, open it and unzip it. After it's complete, we're going to use a program called Etcher, which will Install the image on our micro SD card. Select your image. Also, before your flash, make sure you have the right SD card selected so you don't format anything you don't want to format. Keep in mind, this can take a while, so grab a coffee or something. After the installation is complete, insert the microSD in your Orange Pi and connect power to it. Let it start for like 5 minutes and after that you can ping its host name to retrieve its IP address. In some cases like mine it could not be uh, found so we're going to need a special tool to find its IP address and our local network. I'm going to use a tool called Angry IP Scanner. Download the executable to your desktop and install it. First of all, we need to check our IP configuration um, we, because we're going to need to change the range 
and the IP range program to search between a certain range. Look at your default gateway and set that as a starting point. And choose 255 as your endpoint. It could also be that your IP address is, is different, so look at your gateway for the start and ending. Also, in, pre in preferences, check live hosts responding to pings only. And click start. It will now search in your local network for all the devices that are connected. So one of them has to be your Orange Pi. In my case, it's the last one, so with uh, 212 at the end. Uh, next thing we're going to do is install a tool mobile xterm so we can access our orange pi by ssh we can install the free home edition so do that i have already installed it so i'm just going to run it Next thing to do is to add a session for our Orange Pi. So uh, copy its IP address. You can just copy it from the program, like so. You also have to specify a username. The default username when you first installed it is root. The password is 1234. Click yes. And here we have to type the current Unix password, which is 1234. You know you need to enter a new password, choose anything you like, and retype it. Also, provide a username to create a new account. We can skip the step where you need to enter your credentials. After we have done that, we're going to make a new session. But now we're going to use our account we just created. So in my case, my username is just my name. Enter your password you entered before. And now we're in. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two scripts on our Orange Pi, which will make it easier for us to install packages that are needed for Open Media Vault. These will be available in the description. So, copy everything. Paste it in. Uh, Ctrl plus O to save. Also do the same thing for the second uh, bash file. And save it again. Now we need to set permissions to execute. Also, do not forget to place seal before all these commands, otherwise, it won't work. Okay, so we run both scripts. 
Now, to sudo apt-get update I'm doing here is not necessary because it's, it's also... Um, the second script will also do that, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's handy for checking for errors. Uh, we have one over here, but it's not that important, we can just ignore it. So now we're going to run the second script. Again, this can take a while. Here you can just leave everything to default, so choose internet site and set localhost as your system mail name. Ok, the installation is almost done, click OK. Okay, after the installation is complete, you should be able to access your Orange Pi by using its IP address. So type it in in the web browser. Here you must enter your credentials. The username is admin and the password is Open Media Vault. If everything works fine, you should now be in the web interface. So as, you, as you can see, we have the latest version installed, also the latest kernel. Here we need to check for packages if we want to install any updates. Here you can view all the extensions you can install. What we are going to do is we're going to install Open Media Vault Extras so we can have some more plugins we can install, like like cups for printing and so on. So navigate to the OMV Extras website. Here you can view all the plugins it comes with. So it's a lot. If we go to the guides tab, we see an installation option. So download the download for the latest version, which is Arrakis. So download that one. Here we need to upload the package to our Orange Pi, so click Upload and browse your, to your file, select it and click OK. Scroll down to the bottom and you will see 
the OMV Extra Sorc. Install that one because that's the Open Media Vault Extra plugin. These packages can take a while to install, so just be patient. After the page has refreshed, you will see you now have an OMV extra step. Here you can enable other repos to install like Black, like something like Plex Media Server. Um, if you then go to your extensions, you will see new packages pop up. So for example, we now can install something like uh, Cups. Of course, you need to check for new packages again so after the refresh is done you should now be able to see the extra packages like cups for example Here it is. Like I said, if you for example enable the Plex Media Server repo, you will be able to install the Plex Media Server plugins. I'm going to give you a short overview. Like you can see, it works fine. I have a few USB drives connected. So we have all these different services um, and you can expand that with new plugins. Okay, I think that that's it for the video. Um, last thing I want to show you is that you can also change your password to log in here. Thanks for watching and maybe see you in the next video.